Hey everybody, Brian Hunt here with you again. In this video, I'm going through my thoughts and my experience using the DJI Ronin RS2 expansion kit. So the expansion kit that gives you these other things, you can control it, these giant cables, and you can kind of have your gimbal set up somewhere else and you can be using it farther away to control it. It was something I was very excited about getting because there's different ways I've used my Ronin and other gimbals in the past like this, using them on a gimbal, using them on a cloud mount while driving and getting different shots that way. And I was excited about getting the expansion kit. I bought it as soon as it came available, but I am a bit disappointed with it and I'm likely changing over to a different system and I'm gonna let you know why. So first off, what it comes with, you know, you get this other, kind of controller here um, that basically is the same as the controller you get on the, or the handle you get on your RS2. Only thing being that there is no power to this. Um, you have to power this off your battery, which is on your handle of your controller itself. So you get something like this, where you can take your handle off and you can put it onto this. And then, you have another little piece, uh, you have another device that allows you to take the Ronin base plate itself, put it on something like the jib you can see here, uh, or put it onto a cloud mount as you can see here. But where this is giving me difficulties and a bit of a pain is that it all has to do with these giant wires. This is not a wireless system. Okay, so if you remember the old, Ronin M that used to come with a remote control and I used to use that on the back and some jibs and some other things that way too and it worked great. I had a, a full Ronin 2. Um, I used that on jibs. I used that on a cloud mount before and it came with this really nice hand controller for it that worked really well. This thing doesn't come with anything that you have to buy something like this expansion kit but again it's not wireless. It's all wired and there's these huge wires that come with it. And this is where I start having my difficulties with it. So again, with this piece here, which is the, um, the handle for controlling it remotely, as I said, there's no power to this. So what you need to do is you also need to have your handle off here. That needs to be back somewhere on the, wherever you're using the unit you're using to power your Ronin and also to power this. So that's where this comes into play. You take power out of this and you take control out of this, uh, sorry, from here. So the power's out of here, DC out. And then you have a DC in that comes in on these and it just becomes not that clean and, and cumbersome and you have to set stuff up. You have this other little thing here. This is kind of the magic piece right here. This is what slides in to the side of your RS2. And this is actually what is the connection that allows it to connect to this other piece here. Now, this is what the same kind of connection that other people are using uh, to make remote control or remote device things to control your RS2, which is what I'm thinking of changing to um, trying to wait for availability of it, but there's the tilt -a system that looks much, much better and much cleaner that way because I want something that is quick that I could even in theory just have my whole Ronin like this, you know, maybe taking the bottom off and that threading into the bottom of a uh, gimbal or something like that and that I could be um, then powering it or use controlling it, sorry, from farther back and I can switch back and forth quickly between a handheld kind of way of using this and again on a jib or on uh, my cloud mount. Those are the two ways that I would typically remotely be using these. But having this set up with the cables, you know, it's just, I don't know, it, it sucks kind of. It's just messy, it makes it slow, it's hard to set up that way. Um, you can see here from the video, it's, you know, it's, you got different things to deal with having something that's just a remote wireless thing. I don't know why DJI themselves have not came out with their own remote control for it. It'd be great if they did, but I'm likely 
Going to be moving over to the Tilta system. I'm going to try that out. I'm hopefully going to hit up Tilta, see if they would let me test that out. I would love to try to use it. Otherwise, the system works. It, it works. It does what it says it's going to, it can do. It, it allows you to be farther back and control and have the same settings. You can move between all your modes on here. Um, you can start record if you're using that. Um, you have all those elements you can do. I could be at the back of a gym and controlling the camera. I'm not a fan of how this little thing moves. I, the one from the RS, uh, sorry, the Ronin 2, the large Ronin 2 is much better system. So even if somebody could make something like that where that could pair with it, that you could use it, that would be great. The reason for using though, the RS2 over something like the Ronin 2 is the obvious thing would be size and size of camera. So something that's lighter and easier and quicker for me to use that way on a cloud mount, I need uh, less springs. It's easier to uh, balance with it. Um, and if you're doing different setups, maybe that's not what you want if you're holding a huge camera, but for a lot of this stuff, kind of quickly getting some different shots, the RS2 is the tool I want to use on these different devices. But I'm not too stoked on the whole setup of this thing. This is kind of a quick review. I'm not going to go too in depth on how you set it up, how you use it, all those things. I'm just giving my two cents. I don't think it's worth buying. I would hold off and wait till Tilta hopefully has theirs in stock. Um, or if somebody else is making one where you can use it remotely and have some things. The Tilta also has different ways you can power it. So you don't have to be using the battery here as your power option. You can be using a V-mount or something like that to power it. Um, yeah, to me, don't waste your money, guys. Don't buy the RS2 expansion kit. Hold off, wait for something else that's better, and hopefully I will have a review on that better system soon. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you guys. There's gonna be some lot more video content coming out. Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried the RS2 expansion kit? What's your thoughts on it? What are you hoping for? What are the different ways that you are looking to use your RS2? And if you have any questions for me, please leave those in the comments below. Please think of giving my video a like. If you liked it, please think of subscribing to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one.